Please. I'm begging you. Please leave. Ain't no way he said that full like. Like that's how it should have sounded. I hope you brought some fire for the theme song. You usually always do, but. Oh shit. <laughs> Feel uh, you trying to solve all the murders, nigga. You see me? That's the third row yo playing UDG. I, I wonder who I am or who we gon' meet. Monica would better chill for you six feet deep. I keep it cool in this school, making friends is a side quest. A friend a day might flip like a light switch. Smile in my face when I'm sleep slitting my wrist. The bell go off, just blind but a mind test. The bell go off, just blind but a mind test. Uh, the bell go off, just blind but a mind test. Yeah. Let's go. Mind but a mind test. I was whack, so I had to write this. Let's get it. Dang it. Right. It's fucked up, but it's real, so I gotta win. And fuck luck, you need brains in this game of sick. Let's immerse in the world where it ain't what you think. It's time to play. Grab your snacks and your drink. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's time to play, got the snacks and the drink Let's immerse in the world where it ain't what you think Trying to solve all the murders, nigga, you see me Just the third row yo, playing UDG I wonder who I am or who we gon' meet Monica, my better chill for you six feet deep I keep it cool in this school, making friends is a side quest A friend of day might flip like a light switch Smile in my face when I'm sleep slitting my wrist The bell go off, it's blind, but I'm mind test Spike Chunsaw Dirty Dan this nigga's nasty, bro. Spike's a pervert. Spike's a pervert. Spike's a pervert. <laughs> All right, come on, y'all. Let's get to it. <laughs> Chapter four. The way we live. Oh my gosh, y'all. We here. Five chapters. Beg of you, please, just leave this city. I, I beg of you, stop talking over me. What? Good job. Welcome back hey, to another video for today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. I know it's like weekly episodes with this game. Be honest. Let's, I mean, let's be honest. It sucked. Where did this come from? Okay, they just want me to leave the city. She over there sitting in piss. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Imagine this is all oh, just piss, bro. I knew this would happen. Who, um, he do cosplay. I've seen a lot of that on the, on the gram, you know, at the conventions throughout the year. Uh, Naruto, got you. In order for the new society of children to be calm and peaceful, I need to create paradise. Okay, all right, Nagi. So I see where you're going with your um with your revolutionary mindset, bro. You trying to you trying to you trying to separate. He's a sep he's a separatist. Everyone has high expectations of me. I cannot fail. Right, 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 right. The two parents right here, right? Uh so please. Get out of our town. They're trying to integrate, but Nag Nagisa's like, no, I need to separate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Kamaru and Toku. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. Oh, Maru, don't be tricked. You don't have to actually accept that offer. No, this is not an offer. It's an honest request. Mm, there we go. Please, I'm begging you. Please leave. Ain't no way he said that full, like, like that's how it should have sounded hey i wouldn't trust a kid even if he's kneeling on the ground in he's piss. obviously tricking us i do not intend to trick you i'm serious <laughs> oh oh and now you are free wow if you do this, you're gonna make Monica super sad. Oh my gosh, isn't it just them two left anyway? I know that, but it has to be done. Monica has high expectations of me. I'm sure she'll understand. I'll take you to the secret passageway. It's the only way to get out of town. I can guarantee your safety until you reach it. The Monokumas won't attack with me here. Come on, let's go. Kamaru, I'm- Hey! I told you to wait! Hey! What? Do you have another objection? D do I? Um... I'm trying to think of a reason. Why would, why would Kamaru want to stay? I mean, her brother ain't here. Nobody's here, actually. Oh, oh, Maru. Are you really okay with this? Besides Toko, it's like... Huh? We can both leave. Of course she is. 
This is what she wanted all this time. That's facts. I, I wasn't talking to you. I'm asking Omaru. <laughs> like, why is she sounding like that right now, bro? Am I nitpicking? I don't care, bro. She wants to leave this town. Why are you getting in her way? Right. You're on the same side, right? Then you should respect her feelings. Her feelings? Sh shut up. You have no right to say that. Talk, I'm looking at you crazy right now, because... It's going to be all right. I will personally guide you to the secret passageway. No need to worry. Let's go. She's a proud member of Fusion Foundation. Hey, she want them to she want me to stay here. Don't follow us. But, but you don't want Monica to hate you, do you? Wow. In that Ryan Seacrest ass suit, bro. Making big boss moves. That sounds like straight piss, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's up with y'all, bro? Hope you're having a smooth day, bro. Let's yep. go. The secret passageway is this way. This ain't secret, nigga. We are on a main highway. This way. Why do I still have to shoot people, bro? Oh, no, no, no. This is just how you play the game. I'm tripping. He looks so normal. Running like how does a non-normal kid run? Right? What are you talking about? He looks so normal running like that. You know, shut up. I can save real quick. Move. I can't believe I am back on this on this game bro it's a cool one i'm just <laughs> i'm just in a laughing mood bro i have to be in this kind of mood to play this game and it's not often bro i'll be handling big big boy moves too he ain't the only one with suits my suit i just wear figuratively because my meetings are all uh, virtual so okay this way. Follow he run me. like i don't know a jungle book like why is he running like baby tarzan What? You were in the ground? Who naps like that? I'm about to go crazy, bro. And by me, I mean Toko. Hold on. Why are you attacking me? Are you a traitor, bro? <laughs> get up and fight. We're really going to sit there and watch him get this close? Okay, so they snitched to um, uh, Dippin. I can't remember bro name, bro. Nagito, Nagito, Nagito. Bro, 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 bro. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't know what you think you finna do, bro. I don't know what you thought, bro. Or what you thought this was, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Switch back, switch back, switch. Move, move, man. Yeah, here we go, yep. Relax, relax, Berlin. We good, we good, we good, we good. We good, bro. How do I, um, oh my God, bro. You know, forget it. How do, how do I, bro, how do I switch my, um, how do I switch my bullets? I ain't gonna figure it out right now. My fault, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to move the cars and get kills cool, bro, but. I know y'all felt that alliteration I just spoke on you. Yep. So, so like, um. It's all good. I'm going to just stay to Toko. I'm pushing the button. Nothing's happening, bro. It's just, it's just Toko time to go crazy then. Got him. Thank God. I thought you said the Monokumas wouldn't attack us if you were here. This is strange. What in the world is this? Hey. You weren't lying when you said you wouldn't trick us, right? Of course. If I wanted to deceive you, I would not have removed your wristband. He's right about that. Then they must have found out you betrayed them. Yeah, bro. They were spying on you with the iPhone 4s, bro. Betrayal? Me? No, that's wrong. I'm no traitor. Damn. And he's not. He's right about that. He's not even a traitor, bro. He's trying to, he trying to help. You see them phones them kids use, bro? Big biscuits. I am the leader of the Warriors of Hope. I care about making paradise more than anybody. The leader of the Warriors the of Hope. The I'm letting you guys go is because I care so much. That's cute. It appears your allies aren't taking it that way. 
I'm sure she'd understand if I explained it to her properly. Monica has such high expectations. You gonna get to Monica and she gonna slit your throat, yeah. bro. Keep on saying that, Mr. Genius Grade Schooler. Why are you talking Let's shit? Go. Oh my gosh, bro. Those be the those be the worst kind of people. Like I'm getting sick of this. Oh my god, bro. My my stomach turns when I hear people like just being being dickheads for no reason, bro. How do I switch my my bullets? It's the numbers. I'm so stupid. No, nah, don't say that. Don't say that, Berlin. Don't say that, bro. It ain't that big of a deal, bro. Don't know where the game play like Daniel. Relax. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> Let's play. Ah! What are we finna play? Handball? I'm a warrior of hope. I'm your master. <laughs> Got him. Got him. And, and y'all too. You're so lucky, bro. Hit your shots. Hit your shots, B. Good shots. Good shots. Good shots. Good shots. What y'all want to do? What y'all what want to do? What you want to do? Get your eyeball bus. Get your eyeballs bus. Easy work. Yep. Fourth of July on the, on the rooftops. Yep. Okay, y'all thought you did something, bro. Y'all thought y'all really thought you did something being duos, bro. No, bro. Solo queue in the duo lobbies. What, what are you running around for? Like a, I don't know, bro. A meerkat, like sit your dumb ass down. I'm gonna just hit the, the two in the middle, bro. Chain reaction, bitch. Got him. Got him. Yep, that's what you call geometry. Run! Toko. Oh my gosh, bro. This game is. This way. You're seriously trusting a guy like that? I'm sure he's planning to betray you. Game is straight. You think so? Straight bullshit, bro. You, you, you think so? Like. Do something! Here we go. Ta -da! <laughs> Ta -da! Let's play! Don't come near me! Then get behind us! What the f is that, bro? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. 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 Bro, how do I send how do I send them rolling again, bro? Oh, I think it's a knockback. What? Oh my god, bro. Why are you... Oh, paralyzed? Then move his ass over there! You think I'm gonna remember how to... What do you want me to do here? Bro, get, get hit with that knockback. Yep, yep, there it is. It's knockback. Get hit with that knockback. Oh my gosh, bro. Get hit with that knockback. Who's even, who even has a lunch that nasty, bro? Noodles, bananas, and, and like shrimp pasta. Like what, what is, what, what's actually, what's actually going on right now, bro? Like, 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 what are we doing for real, y'all? Why won't they stop? Why won't they stop? What do you need me to do? This game fucking blows, bro. Real shit. This makes zero sense, bro. And it's supposed to happen like this because there's more enemies, bro. I'm literally supposed to fight my way through all this. This, this, this wasn't a glitch. I'm over here giving the game benefit of the doubt. M maybe they don't realize. This can't be real. What? Like this. It's wrong.
This is the beat that plays when I when I imagine getting my loadout together for Run! Don't come near me. Never mind, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate you, Spike, bro. I hate you, but I love you, bro. Roll the way that I'm roll the way that I'm shooting you. You fucking fat dirty bastard, bro. All y'all getting paralyzed then, bro. Y'all wanna stand in the group? Get paralyzed, bro. Don't even care no more. Toko, get out the way then. Well, I, I did everything I could to make to make, you know, to be fair. Help me. This can't be real. A world like this. It's wrong. All right, so I got my, I got a Glock. I got two grenades. Um, let me throw the AR in the bag as well. What else? Yeah, I'm gonna need that sniper rifle. Um, Get off the homie, get off the homie. All y'all get off the homie, bro. Oh my God. Nope, 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 nope. Get off the homie, get off the homie. Keep, keep him away from the homie, keep him away from the homie. Watch the homie back, watch the homie back. We're almost out of here. Get, watch the homie back. Why do I keep getting sticky keys? Get off the homie back. Nope, 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 nope. You too close. You too close. Get off the homie. Nope. Get off the homie. I don't know what you're sitting there melting for behind the homie back. Get off the homie. Get off the homie. Nope. Get off the homie. Nope. What are you plotting? Nope. Stop taking shit. Yep. Bro, really back there. Let's just like. I don't, what is that, bro? Doing that weird shit in the corner, bro. Get off the homie. Thank you, bro. Oh my gosh. Let's go. The secret passageway is this way. So, Not a so cruel. Ooh, this is too cruel. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 cruel, but it looks like gushers, bro. Like you taking me, you take the whole essence out of it when you make them blobs like that, bro. Oh, look. But even if I don't see it, I can pretty much figure out what happened. You really don't feel anything seeing this? No! Look at it! These people are demons. Our enemies. Are right, you bugging, bro. You bugging, Nagisa. That's not what she asked. You said it before, right? It's because you're afraid of adults? That's why. You cussed her. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We can't help but be terrified around adults. You you can help it. You just don't want to. If the adults just didn't exist, we could live peacefully. That's what I believe. Why are you so afraid of adults? Because somebody probably did something strange. You was just tied up last episode for demonstration purpose. You forgot? We Warriors of Hope are classmates in the Hope's Peak Elementary program. Where's everybody else? We were in the classroom where they put all the troublemakers. Well, yeah, you got your, but you got I this nigga. I being called a troublemaker. He has beats by Dre's on mid, mid session. If I was a teacher, bro, he wouldn't still be sitting there, bro. He'd be outside. We'd be waiting on Mr. Reed, the security guard, bro. Mr. Reed don't play that shit. He'd resell your beats to another classmate. It was a cold piece of work, bro. He got fired for being a perv though so it makes it sound as if we ourselves were the cause of the trouble but that's not right our troubles were created by adults by our parents they say kids can't pick their parents well we were the unluckiest ones of all i mean i get the approach of this game but like i get the approach but my parents were without exaggeration the worst like 
demons. Look at your fit, bro. Who, who bought you that? My parents raised me like they were leveling me up in some game. Uh-oh. 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 Let me be careful. Why does he have a knife in the bottom right, bro? With stim packs and, and, and fentanyl in his locker, bro. Stop. They didn't treat me like a person. They probably even forgot I was their child. Why is he connected to an IV? Hell no, nah, bro. From morning till night, study, study, study. When I got sleepy, analeptics. Even if I faint, HP is fully restored with a handy IV in my arm. Three to four days straight. Oh my gosh. HP, hepatitis. And if I showed even the slightest resistance, they'd use items to neuter my spirit. What items? And by doing so, neutered. As long as they steadily racked up XP, I'd level up to their expectations. How do you account for XP? What does XP mean? A good grade? You didn't have Edu Birdie, like bro. And it wasn't just at home. I received the same expectations at school as well. Niggas was neutering you in class? What? My father was a teacher at our school. Oh, God. He was a researcher of children's talent. He used his own son to research the growth of a child's talent. He wanted to see what the growth curve would be like if he pushed a child to the breaking point. Isn't that funny? I was the subject of such an amusing experiment. I don't condone what he did to you, but you came out kind of cool, bro. Like, you're the coolest kid out of your group, bro. Like, he was doing a... a, a <clears throat> he did his job. It's not funny at all. I'm sorry. But even with all that, I was still better off than the others. You saw Monica's legs, right? That was done to her by her family. Aw, oh, Damn. Can we get a dramatization, please? Her father and older brother were jealous of her talent. And that's how she ended up like that. What was her talent? Can you tell us? I'm curious. That's horrible. Because we had talent. Because we were superior. We were treated like we were in hell. Damn. So y'all, okay, so y'all trying to, y'all trying to, okay, I get it. It's like y'all are X-Men trying to, trying to dip off and be amongst yourselves. But it's like people, people, yep. But during it all. We didn't hold a grudge against our parents. We accepted how we were treated because we weren't aware that it was okay to hate our parents. Mm. We trusted the common knowledge that kids must love their parents, so we didn't fight it. Mm. Instead, we bonded over our struggle, and those discussions led us to the same conclusion. We had to escape from the horrifying world that made us suffer. Oh my gosh, bro. I know I know the imagery is dark, we were but this is desperate to run away from our scary parents. Scary adults. The whole scary world. It, it won't let me it won't let me remove the text so I can get a picture, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. And we thought there was only one way out. But that's when it happened. There was someone who taught us to have courage. To fight back instead of running away. Yep. That was Big Sis Junko. Yeah, Big Body Big Sis Junko. Big Sis Junko told us how. Big Sis. If you don't want it, give it to me. Don't want what? Their lives? She wanted the thing we were going to dispose of. Our lives. Got you. Got you. Heard you. And so, Big Sis Junko abducted us. And Big Sis, you couldn't get a fucking GMC or like a Yukon or something, bro? Like, why would you pick this... This... This fucking... Flatbed fossil. Our disappearance didn't make much news. This was around the time the incident was growing. Ever since then, the days have been so much fun. Big Sis Junko showered her possessions with love and affection. I'm not gonna lie, Big Sis Junko kind of the kind of the hero here, bro. Why did I have to kill her last last video game, bro? She gave us not only love. But a dream as well. Don't fucking with it. The dream of creating a children's paradise. Yep. Where the children can live peacefully. Beautiful, bro. We also learned from Big Sis Junko the beliefs required to build that dream. Mm, got you. The belief that adults are demons. 
Hold on now, bro. It was as if we saw the light. Thanks to her, we finally realized. Why your hair get pointy when you get evil, bro? Bro, we need to kill him now. The common knowledge we had known up until then were lies adults created for their own benefit. <laughs> he got a muscle in his scalp that retract and oh no, nah, bro. Can't defy the parents. Hell Everyone no. Must get along. Violence can never bring peace. To destroy the world based on such lies, we decided to fight against the adults. You are a hedgehog. As far as I remember, the first adult we defeated was a random person we didn't even know. Damn, this picture hard too, bro. We learned that kids can kill adults if they wanted to, and we were encouraged. Okay. From there, we leveled ourselves up by killing demons. Vixis Junko was so pleased. Just the idea of a child killing an adult is despair-inducing. Vixis Junko need therapy. It's just insane. Just as I expected. You guys were just tools to her. She was using you. The way she took you in, it's no different than a cult. You bring in the weak people and attach them to your own dream. Damn. That's a bar. The revolution you're talking about? It's all just another piece of despair to her. You guys were completely deceived by Junko and Ashima. Bodied. And what's wrong with that? Did I not tell you that we are her possessions? We would rather her take advantage of us than horrible adults. Sounds like it's too late. Damn. You say what you like. Big Sis Junko gave us hope. That's the truth. Man, she talked y'all off the ledge and then used y'all for more violence, bro. And because of that hope, we were able to defeat the demon boss. Who the hell is that? Demon boss? I know he's not. I know you're not talking about. I know he's not talking about Makoto. I know that's not who he's talking about, right? Our parents. Oh. Cause I'm like, bro, we just spoke to him on the, on the phone. You ain't defeat shit. Our parents. You killed your parents? Man, we been knew that last episode, Kamaro. They told us that they their parents were already gone because they was the first in line, bro. That's why everybody in the bunker was not a parent. Like That was a special battle that can only be fought once. That made us level up even further. From there, Operation Children's Paradise began, and we started freeing other children. I thought that said feeding. I'm like, bro, y'all cannibals too? By doing so, the advance of the Warriors of Hope seemed unstoppable. But just when things were going so well, Big Sis Junko died, killed by some idiot. Play, play that other fire song. Why don't I get that song when, when a victory happened? Like, come, come, give me a break, bro. When she died and we lost our guide, we didn't know what to do. But Monica didn't despair. All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. At that moment, Monica looked just like Big Sis Junko in our eyes. Monica looked like a fucking roach in the eyes. Things that didn't matter vanished, and we felt ourselves rising up again. Unlockable door, people ask. Come to think of it, that moment. Stupid. That was the real beginning of the revolution. And this time around, I swore an oath. We, the survivors, will fulfill the dream and prove how amazing Big Sis Junko is. We would leave lies like education and love for family in the past and create paradise. That is our hope. You guys, you really don't understand that you're doing something very wrong. Man, they do. Justice and evil. These are beliefs that adults have defined, are they not? They know exactly First what they're doing, bro. Pure evil simply does not exist. In all evil, there is something good. And in the same way, justice always hurts someone. There is no pure justice either. That's that's a sweeping generality, son. All 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 evil has some good in it. Bro, hell no, nah, bro. I mean, I guess if you want to like say, let's say somebody commit mass genocide, it's like good for that person. But like, is it really though? Good because they feel good doing it? No. And just because somebody get dealt justice, like they did something wrong, you got to face the consequences, bro. 
That is a good thing to face your consequences. Every action got a consequence, bro. Like you said, shut your bitch ass up, bro. <laughs> Are we really gonna stand around waxing philosophical with some little brat? Right? What did what what Reddit thread did you what Twitter did you uh follow and hear that from, bro? I wanna know why you guys chose Toa City. And not only that, how did you guys get that army of Monokumas? The one who chose the city and prepared our Monokumas. Isn't she amazing? She created them with her special magic. Magic? Don't take any of this seriously. It's just some kid talking. Basically. Monica's the mastermind, and to save Master, I gotta deal with her. Monica is our princess, I will never allow that. H hey Earlier, you said that there is no such thing as pure justice or evil. She did, yep. But even if that's true, a dream that requires you to hurt someone, I think it's wrong. Agreed. Agreed, bro. <laughs> After all this time, Still saying something so naive. In order to believe something like all just like pure eat like there's no such thing as pure evil would be to remove yourself from like the rest of the world. It's like, yeah, if, if I'm an extremely selfish person, yeah, I'm gonna say that because it's like if I do wrong, I feel good from it, so it's not a bad thing. But it's like, bro, if I do wrong and it affects literally everybody else around me, who gives a fuck how I feel, bro? It's wrong, bro. It seems as though we really don't have much in common. I was right to ask you to leave. So let's go already. The secret passageway is right up ahead. Monica finna be right there waiting for you and you're gonna die, son. Like, you think she's really just gonna let you do this? You let me run four steps and We're then cut here. back to- It's at the shrine. Beautiful. We should get going. Hey, Omaru. Do you have a second? Huh? I yeah. Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? You're asking this now? All this time I've been trying to escape. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. You don't have to cry. She just asked one question. What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really going to stay here? Right, that's a great question in response. Uh, of course, I have to save Master Biakia. Right. Hey, what do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? You don't know where your family is if you don't cut it out. Why are you asking me? I mean, if I go, you'll be alone. It's about to be a long ass convo about Look, I, don't, I don't need you here. I'll, I'll be just fine. Toko. Oh my God. Do you want me to stay? You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Unlike me, you're truly amazing, Toko. Oh my gosh, get off her tip, bro. Like, she's been dogging you this whole gameplay. Right? Can't even say thank hey, you. Omaru? Say thank you, bitch. Hmm? Sorry for getting you involved in all this. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm not taking, I'm not retracting my statement, though. Involved? What do you mean? Is this Sims 3? Where'd that question mark come from? You ain't never done that before. N nothing. Just leave before he changes his mind she says sorry for getting you involved in this what you sent the monokumas to my apartment or something are you right you still right behind me i cut the cap you feel me y'all i cut the cap i cut the cap and get up in this room in this shrine and, and shut up damn this way bro i'm so done bro this is it you really think he's he, he's sonic the hedgehog bro stairs this is the secret passageway we prepared in case of emergency. Go through here 
and you can get outside the town. Why did it look like his voice just said guap 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 and he gonna what say this doing? is hurry up and leave. Hey, what's the hold up? If you just go through here, you'll be outside of the city. The whole trap, bro. I don't trust this dude no more. He way too smart for this. Didn't you want to run away? Didn't you want to escape this town? Th that's right. That's what I've always wanted. At least that's what I thought. Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. Oh my. Seems like I made it just in time. <laughs> Man, that was close. Truly a last minute save. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh my god, bro. You, why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay. No. Of course. Why are you here? Why are you dressed like Freddy Krueger and still got them? Oh my God, bro! Wash your face, dirty ass. So that our boring and common protagonist, who has no distinct characteristics, doesn't just quit. Huh? Komaru Naeki. Though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation. I really do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to stay. You know what? I bet the lady singing this song had no clue where this track was going. If she knew that her song was being played on a game where Spike Chunsoft comedically dramatizes sexual assault. Bro, bro, she would not be cool with that, bro. She would not be cool with that. She'd be like, bro, get this shit off this game. Get my vocals off this off this shit. It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end. How it was meant to be. Don't just go speaking your mind without permission. You're a servant. Listen to me. In order to see our paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the warriors of hope? Paradise or the game? Mm. What are you talking about? It's obviously the game, of course. What? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slayings to focus entirely on building paradise. That's very true. That's very true, Nagisa. You was in control, bro. And the reason you did not do exactly that and are instead going behind their backs? Because you love the game. Because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. Wow. Do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? A traitor snake custer is what they call him. A traitor. Yup, absolutely, bro. Get his you're ass. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nagisa. Isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. The way Nagito is is like talking to this dude and sunning him in such a condescending, relaxed tone. That's how I'm about to approach every uh, every confrontation that ever comes my way, bro. I'm gonna always be hella calm, bro. Like you'll never be able to take me out my frame, I mean. Okay, I really think you should. Damn it. He's like, is he stunning me with my facts? The facts! That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. Damn. What are you talking about? I must admit, I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. His 
Makoto? Do you know him? Now listen, since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. Okay. Of course, perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. Rather, the one who disappointed me was Toko. That's why she got that's why she got the back to you right now. Wow. Huh? Uh... What you cold now? You ain't been cold this whole season. Now perhaps I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. Uh-oh. Promise? S escort? What are you talking now we, about? Now we get to the nitty-gritty details. Oh, I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. What are we talking about? But if you continue to be silent, the story cannot progress. So I will speak. I made a deal with Toko. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. What? What are you talking about? And it was such a good deal, too. Why did it have to come to this? That's a lie, right? You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up. Oh my gosh. If you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. When you first arrived at the hospital on your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. It's not really hit. it's not really giving what it's supposed to give but i mean we're here it is it is a it is the reason why she's with us lies you're lying it'd be different if like toko started like actually respecting me over the over the course of time but like like she stayed a distant as, as hell so it's like well yeah bro i figured she was a traitor like i figured she was plotting on me i went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game Returning the hacking gun you had lost, having the Monokuma kids deliver items, that was me. Consider it game balance, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Why enemies conveniently drop items? Why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. The game began as a way for the children to have fun, but it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? Well, that is all your brother's fault, of course. Makoto? He defeated Junko and Oshima, the one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. What? That's why, this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero, the symbol of hope. The little sister, utterly boring by comparison. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. Hope is exclusively found on the side of the weak, the losing side. People are touched by underdog stories. Slam Bro, alive. come on! The team, come the on! The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. They are inspired by such tales. What are you saying? If my assumptions are correct, you will release a light even brighter than his. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. Through the game, you will grow, defeat the final boss, and become the hope for this town. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. Please, save this town from despair. Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair. I'm not gonna lie, he almost scared me in the, in the right right there, bro. That what, almost what do you got mean? me. I'm hope. I don't well, understand drop. what you mean at all. 
Ah, I see. So you still don't understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. But regardless, I truly do believe in you. No matter how big the despair, hope will always win in the end. Who's flying the camera? Lucky to? Like that is why I feel no remorse becoming despair myself. You you're just as crazy as those kids. You must be insane. Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean, now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Toko, please just tell me the truth. You just did! She ain't saying nothing, that's the truth. What he's saying, it's a lie, right? Oh my gosh, bro. This how y'all be when your partner keep cheating on you and you just stay there and take it, bro. That I'm gonna be traded for Biakia and you've been lying this oh, whole You gotta time. leave, bro. You gotta leave the situation, bro. That's, that's gotta be a lie. Answer me, Toko! <laughs> Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course it's not a lie. So, so vile. So disrespectful, bro. What? All this time, I was protecting you and cheering you up. Dirty ass bitch. It was all for the sake of Master Byakuya. Toko. That's right. I was deceiving you. Ooh, who, whoever did the voice acting bodied that line. I wish I could rewind. I was deceiving you. And you just kept relying on me. Toko, Toko! Trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. I... I believed in you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why... I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? Toku. From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Lies. It's all lies. I want, oh my god, bro. Get me off this game. Ne next save point, I'm ending the video, bro. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I tricked you from the start. You were a fool not to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. Nagito oh, walked off. My work is done. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? If you want to stop her, you've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? There's no other way. By force, if I have to. Force? What does that mean? We bought the box? Gotta kill! Kill, 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 kill! Oh, I got no choice. I gotta start the slicing. You know you don't. You don't, you don't. you don't have to put, put the knives down. Let's talk about this, right? We can use our words. You got a fat ass tongue. Let's get to using it. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Are you serious? You. Are you serious? Stop it already, Toko! She dead ass! Oh! I, let you escape, Kamari I have you no bullets, bruh! Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? The hacking gun. Bro, I ain't, ain't, bro, I ain't got nothing. Well, you wanna dance? You wanna dance? She weaving my shit, bro. You want to get hit with a move? Uh. So maybe I just got to keep the batteries from her and let them batteries, let them batteries run out. Let them batteries run out. Nope, 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 nope. What does this just turn into, bro? A Genshin Impact? Like, bro, you ain't shit. You have to sacrifice something. Yes, it works on the stun gun. What works on the stun gun? What are we talking about? Bro, come on, man. Come on now. 
What the fuck is this, bro? Spike different, bro. What are you doing? Stop! You done already? Please stop. I'm streaming. I don't know what to do. If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. So, okay, so I can I can stop her. I, I can stop her by by grabbing the damn, bruh. Uh, I just, I just, I just gotta, just gotta wait this out. I need that heart. I need that heart. ASAP, 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 ASAP. Got him. Should be easily outmatched by Tekko. If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you. Why are they giving me bullets? Like, oh, those are. Come on, come on, come on. Let me shoot the stun gun with break. If she can't use the stun gun on herself, Toko can't. Yeah, I know. Why is she trying to take my clothes off, bro? Like, that's fucking weird. There it is. Yep, got her. Got her. Got her. Got her. Nope, 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 nope. Let me keep my clothes. Nope, nope, got her. Figured you out. Foolish. Oh, shit. Get up there. Yep, yep. Go get your bullet. Go get your bullet. Shit down. I'm right here. What you want to do? You want to fight me? That's strange. Even with the hacking gun, Komaro should be easily outmatched by Toko. Yep, yep, yep. If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. Got her. All right. Ah, she lost consciousness. Excellent. Toko. I know you're lying. <laughs> oh, I lost consciousness. That means I must have lost. Ow, stupid. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run. Look at her laying there still screaming at me. Hurry up and run! <sighs> Goofy ass, bro. What are you doing? Laughing. If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force. You can even get her on the birdhouse. Shut up. You did it on purpose, didn't you? You lost on purpose. Huh? You lost on purpose so you can let me go. Right? Saying cruel things to me and attacking me without warning? It was an act, wasn't it? I'm so done. I'm so, so done, bro. I wouldn't bro. hesitate to leave you here. I'm so fucking done, bro. What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. We've been together all this time. Toko, why? If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. So you wanted to give me a chance? I was with you all this time, you know? I... I know you well, too. All right. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. Can you just say it and stand up, though, please? Oh. Sounds disgusting when you say it. Well, that is completely understandable. But are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Wow. Well, personally, it's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Mm -hmm. Then allow me Easy. to Easy. Why, Taki? 
You'll still make it if you go now. <gasps> Toka! Don't go near me! Though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I Idiot! suppose. Idiot! It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we'd both love Master. Uh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Dekomaru escape. And you're something of a pretty boy yourself, so I can kill you as I like. No remorse. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path for the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? <laughs> Friendship! Friends! <laughs> Obviously, friggin' not. How you calling my friend? No! You're my friend! What are you doing? Let go! Mm -mm. No, I won't! I mean, you made a promise with Byakuya, right? You said oh you my gosh, bro. Anymore. If you keep your promise, you can be an official member of Future about Foundation. That's why you... You just can't. I never thought of, of you or Toko as abnormal, not even one bit. You're just a little strange, that's all. But even so, you are important to me. You and I are friends now, no matter what happens. You're a precious friend and I won't let you do this! I mean, your, your voice f***ing hurts. You're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... <laughs> I'll stay. If that's how it is. If I stay in the city and go with her, then it's fine, right? That's <laughs> hey! You know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! As expected. You just don't get it. <laughs> I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting... She's suffering from way me. more than that. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't Move do it anything. from your throat! But... 
I can at least do normal things, right? And it's normal for a friend to help a friend. I'll stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, all right? I've decided. Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather... <sighs> Thanks. <gasps> Toko! <sighs> uh, 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 <sighs> oh. So, um, about what just happened... It, it's alright. I kinda figured out what was happening. Really? F friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. That's pretty depressing. <laughs> well, you're actually one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment a bit longer, jeez! <laughs> well, guess it turned out so all right. So not funny! If Komaru Naegi had run away, the hope of this city would have gone with her. To prevent that, a wound like this will not diminish my resolve. Though it does hurt. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? All you have to do is defeat the final boss. You save the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. In theory? I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. I have a partner, but I'm not sure what they are planning to be on. <sighs> who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have already been disqualified, but it'll be all right. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will overcome it. The deeper and darker the despair, the brighter and more powerful the hope born from it. Yeah, you're crazy, all right. You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. Anyway, all you need to do is progress forward. I will support you until the very end. So in order to get back Byakuya, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. Right, Toko? But... There's no way I can accept leaving you behind thanks to you. And not just that. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. Kamaru. Oh, and one more thing. I have a little hint for you. The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit... Suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Then what do we need to do? Well, we could ask for help. From Shirakuma and Haichi. Their help? They want to stop the children as much as we do. Shirakuma said it too. If we work together, everyone can be safe. What? Where did the- But I think you and I can- Ugh. Such splendid growth has expected of his little sister. Ah, that reminds me. The resistance base is in the sewers. Of in that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. I would prefer that you think of it as so Well, it doesn't matter what your scheme, even if it takes. Do your best. Defeat despair. That's it. Just a little longer.
Just a little longer, and that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> so upset over something like this. You really are a child. Where the Tomorrow. Thank you. Is the rubber huh? duck? Saying it so plainly like that. It's actually kind of refreshing. Yeah, for me too. I've never I really don't I don't give a damn. I need V3, bro. I can't I can't. I need V3, bro. I need V3. I I can't, bro. This is for toddlers, bro. Plots is so obvious. The dialogue is so tedious. I need V3. We're, we're, we're almost there, right? How much more percent of the game I got? Is it 75 yet? If you enjoyed the video, make sure you slap a like, subscribe, if you're new, hit that bell so you always want to post more videos, bro. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next video, y'all. Peace. I need V3 bad, bro. It's time to play. Got the snacks and the drink. That's a murder in the world. What's going on? What you think? Trying to solve all the murders, nigga. You see me. Just the third row of your play, you be G. I wonder who I am or who we gon' meet. Monica, my better chill for you, 6 feet deep. I keep it cool in this school. Making friends is a side quest. A friend of day might flip like a light switch. Smile in my face when I'm sleep, sweating my wrist. The bell go off. It's blind, but I'm on.